What's up, guys? I got a, a few things that I, I didn't know about the Summer Wells case that I heard from this lady, but I want to get into the Dr. Phil thing first. Uh, apparently, uh, the mother and the father are flying out to be on the Dr. Phil show to talk about Summer Wells. So hopefully, Dr. Phil has some balls and pushes these two people to give some real freaking answers because just it's in my mind and I, and I shouldn't be this way, but it's in my mind that they done something to this little girl, the mother and the father, uh, or the mother or just the father, but they both know what happened. I don't think she was kidnapped. That's just my opinion. So hopefully Dr. Phil can push something out for him. So, anyways, I was watching this lady. Her name is Ole Snappy. O-L-E-S-N-A-P-P-Y. So, right here. O-L-E-S-N-A-P-P-Y. Go check her out. She's a small YouTuber. But uh, she had some pretty good information in here that I thought I was keeping up with this case pretty good. But there was a couple, of three things in there that I... Didn't know, apparently. So, Summer Summerwell's room is in the basement. Now, I didn't know that. I thought her room was upstairs, but her toys, and they, they played in the basement. That's what I thought. Like, down in the basement is where the kids played. Like, all their toys were down there, and they just played down there. That's what I thought. Well, this woman uh, says that the bedroom of the daughter which is just dumb, was downstairs in the basement. That just doesn't make any sense. Now, the three boys having their room in the basement, okay. They're always down there together. They protect each other. They're there. But the little girl being down in the basement by horse, by herself, just in, in her, her own room, just doesn't make any sense. That just seems dumb to me. Like her room, you would think, would be upstairs, close to the parents' room, or somewhere in the vicinity of the parents' room. Because she's the little girl. I mean, for real. Like, I, I, that's just, I, I, I just, for some reason, pictured in my mind that her room was upstairs, not actually in the basement. But apparently I'm wrong. It was in the basement which that's kind of scary to think of because now it gives a whole lot more meaning to somebody knowing somebody knowing that's her room and that uh, he's in that room downstairs in the basement. Okay, so the 911 call. So uh, apparently the, f the father and the mother supposedly called 911. So the father's uh, supposedly 911 call has not come out. Like, nobody's heard it yet. Like, so if he did call, they're just not putting it out. But the mother's 911 call is out. You can go find it. You can go listen to it. And in this call, she says she was out for a walk. In her interview that she did with her and her husband, she says she goes out of the house they're planting flowers in this flower bed now that everybody's shown it and it's got like weeds in it so why would you be planting flowers in a flower bed that's full of weeds just doesn't make any sense but maybe you did I mean look at the property it's pretty nasty looking so she says she goes in the house brings her daughter in the house her daughter goes downstairs and plays She's out of the house for two minutes. Let's say ten minutes. Just let's be on the safe side and say ten minutes she was out of the house. But she says two minutes in her interview. Uh, but in her 911 call, she says she went out for a walk. It actually says that in this 911 call. She went out for a walk. 
But in her interview with her and her husband, she says she doesn't want to go for walks because she's afraid of the animals. So, wow, what? It just, what? Anyways, it's just crazy. Uh, and then on the lie detector. So I knew she took a lie detector test, and I knew her and her husband passed the lie detector test. I, I knew that already. What I didn't know is that the first time they were asked to take the lie detector test, they kind of got pushed back because the mother was on something. So they couldn't take the test because she was on something. The, the, the more I get into this case, the more I see uh, the mother and father and who they are and what they are, the more I just don't believe anything they say at all. Like, they're not even trustworthy to hear anything they say. Her mother, her mother, Candace's mother, is scared of this guy because he had been arrested before and uh, for abuse, but then Candace just magically let it disappear and went back to him, knowing her mother was scared of him also. It's just... This uh, uh, just makes me so mad. But, uh, yeah, that's the latest news, guys. Uh, most of that stuff you probably know, but I, for some reason, hadn't heard any of those three things. And so I was like, it makes the story even more crazy now. It's like even more in my head crazy. It's like, really? So, when the Dr. Phil interview comes, hopefully in the next day or two, three days, four days, whatever it ends up being, Hopefully we'll get some more information and we'll finally figure out where this little girl is. Because there's been a lot of crazy things that have come out. A lot. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know. And we'll see you guys out in the next video. Peace.